Greg Higgerson, H I G G E R S O N. First name's G R E G. Uh, Vice President of Development at Second Harvest Food Bank of Central Florida. So, um, Greg, tell us why we're here today. So, in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma, there's a lot of different things going on in the community, and today we had an opportunity to provide a nice hot lunch for about 60 kids at New Image Youth Center who would ordinarily be getting their lunch in school today, but school's not in session. Uh, due to power outage and a lot of other things and so they're here at New Image uh, while their folks are out working and doing other things and we're able to provide them with that hot lunch that they need. So hot. you get to see the kids and obviously it's been a rough week for a lot of them. Um, you know a lot of them without power and stuff like that. What does it mean to children like this to get that hot meal? Maybe they've not had it in maybe a week. Yeah, you know, these are kids, if you can imagine, low-income families are really challenged uh, in the best of times. And so when a storm like Irma comes along, it really makes a big difference. And, and they're having the choices that are already tough, they're, they're having to layer in a lot more choices on top of that. This might be the first hot food some of these guys have gotten uh, for, for days now. So we're, we're really pleased to have uh, had the opportunity to come down here with the Second Harvest van and make that possible. Tell us about this, this trailer, this van. This van is one of uh, eight catering for good vans that we have at Second Harvest Food Bank. We have a uh, sort of a entrepreneurial arm now that raises money for our culinary training program at Second Harvest. One of the ways that we do that is through a uh, catering business, both in, on site at Second Harvest and off site. Uh, we can do uh, parties and events and things like that. The revenue of which goes back and pays for a culinary training program that's changing lives. What you're seeing now, you mentioned you were moving from our need to recovery. Talk to me about what you're seeing in the community from Second Harvest. Yeah, you know, as the power comes back on uh, around Central Florida, we start to move from relief to recovery. And for those who are hit hardest by the storm, that can take a while. Uh, you know, they're, they're looking at maybe uh, roof repairs or other kinds of, of, of damage that they have to deal with in addition to some of the other challenges that they were facing. So food is among those challenges. And so the emergency food pantries across our area are really going to be needing that extra support and that extra resource during the next several weeks just to make sure that people are, are getting what they need. So the Red Cross, you talked to me a little bit earlier about shelters. Um, what are you seeing today uh, with shelters in our community and how you're working with them? Yeah, there are still a number of shelters out there operating Red Cross and a number of others, and uh, the numbers are dwindling a little bit. Uh, thank goodness people are, are kind of getting back out there. But I think today we still put uh, about 1,300 hot meals into Red Cross shelters across the area. Oh, that's okay. I mean, I'm going to have B-roll over it, so it's fine. Um, is 
talk to me about volunteering in the next you know weeks and months. So we're going to, at Second Harvest Food Bank, have a very heightened need for volunteers, for non-perishable food donations, and for funds in the, in the coming weeks. But in terms of the volunteer need, uh, we need people to come down to our facility and help pack family boxes. Uh, we have um, the state that's going to get involved with putting together some of those boxes with us, but we've got to provide the labor for that. Uh, so we're going to need a lot of volunteer help in, in the next few weeks and hope people can find an hour or two to come down and help. We just want to say thank you for pulling this together so fast. It was really awesome. And we just wanted to say thank you to your team and, and do what you do every day in our community. I'll tell you the truth. Without WFTV, we would not have even known of this opportunity to help at New Image today. So thank you for that. Okay, Dr. Shante Barton-Stubbs, S-H-A-N-T-A, B-A-R-T-O-N, hyphen S-T-U-B-B-S, Director and Founder of New Image Youth Center. Do you want Dewan? Uh, yeah. Say What's your, your name? name and how do you spell it? My name is Dewan and it's D-A apostrophe O-N-E. Good. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> All right, tell us what we're doing, why we're here today. Oh my goodness. So we all know that Hurricane Irma just passed through and it uh, really shook Central Florida. Many people are without power. Many people are without food. And so we wanted to get the kids out of the house. Of course, it's been a whole week of no school. The anxiety levels are very high due to what was just taking place. And the kids needed some, a place safe. This is their safe haven, New Image Youth Center. So we had them to come out today, but the most amazing thing was yesterday when I started planning what we were going to eat, there was nowhere to get food. The grocery stores were very low. Um, a lot of our resources just, just were drained dry, no power, different situations. And we really recognized that there was no way to have a full meal for the kids. So that's when we began to reach out to some of our partners at Channel 9. They reached out to Second Harvest, and today our kids were able to eat, and not only today, but tomorrow as well. And that meant such, that meant a lot to us because we're not a city organization, so sometimes we don't have the fast resources to get here. But without today having Second Harvest, there would have been no real food for the kids. We probably would have dealt with like snacks and things like that, but I couldn't even buy bread. So when it's easier to buy things for your home, but when you're talking about buying food for 65 kids, you have to buy them bulk. So we are so grateful of what took place today with Second Harvest. They've been a partner of ours for many years. They actually feed our kids during the summer. But this was absolutely amazing to be able to make just one or two emails and the connections were made. So we're grateful. You want to add anything? Um, Tell me about the food. It's there's nothing, so I'm glad that we got some food and she's been a good choice when we had got some food, so thank you. Awesome. Anything else you want to add? Um, we would just like to just say thank you. This means the world to us. Central Florida is strong. We've been hearing that and seeing it everywhere, and this is what it is all about. We're not here by ourselves. It takes a whole village, so I'm grateful for Second Harvest and Channel 9 being a part of our village. Where would you be today? In school! Alright, would you be eating lunch in school? Yeah! So how did you like the lunch you had here at New Image today? Yeah! Thank you. You're welcome. Kids ready to get are you ready to get back in school? Yes. And miss your friends? Okay. Yes. 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 What would you like to say? Uh, thank you for what you have done for us. And love you all. Thank you for the food. Awesome. Good job, you guys. Bye. <laughs> thank you for everybody that's in the world. Jesus, please bless you.